Hey, Kate. Kate's Garage here. I'm going to show you how to replace the lower temperature sender on a 2014 Honda Odyssey. So, what we're looking at is we're underneath the car. You have your radiator hose right here. There's a connector here, and inside the radiator is a sensor. So, the first thing is you need to take this connector off. I'm going to try doing it like this. There we go. Okay, and now, so now you can see the connector right there. Uh, the ideal thing to do is do this when you're changing the, the um, antifreeze. Well, I didn't do that. I changed the antifreeze, I flushed it, I did everything. Um, change thermostat, all that, all, all that kind of stuff. And I didn't have the sensor. I changed the sensor on top. It's the same sensor for the top and the bottom. I should have actually put the one in the bottom. I didn't even think about it. Um, so now I, what I'm gonna, this is my idea. We'll see how much, how this works. I'm gonna take the sensor out, plug the hole, put the other one in real quick. And then tighten it. so I think I'm gonna lose some antifreeze Hopefully not a whole bunch. We'll see what happens. I'm going to put the camera up because it might be entertaining. Loosen up the other one. Okay, it's loose. All right. I'm going to get a drain pan over here. Do a drain pan. See what happens. Drain pan, see? Big drain pan. Right here is where we are at. We're at. Let me see if it's hand tight. All right, it's finger loose. I'm pushing in and turning. Hopefully I can get all the threads out. Oh, it's leaking. It's not leaking that much. All right, the old one, can't tell if it's bad. So here's a new one. Let me make sure the washer, yep. So nothing's really, now let's say you ready. Gotta get this in there and turn it. Oh, ah. Okay. Well, that was that wasn't too bad. Gonna tighten with this manually. All right, so I don't know. I just lost a little bit, like not even. I don't even know what. Now I just put the connector back on. And so put the connector back on. So I did, and then I'm gonna try to put this back up in this hole there. See it? All right. That's it. That's the lower um, temp sender, and you. Could, that's how much antifreeze came out. Not much at all. So that wasn't too bad. So you can do it. Don't take to a shop. Just go ahead and do it yourself. Crawl under there and just do it. It'd probably be better if you had the, it all drained. If you were doing everything at the same time, like if you're doing a thermostat, change that bottom one. But I changed it because. I think there's a problem with it turning the fans on. I'm not sure. The fans just are not coming on at the proper time. So right now I have the, the fans hot wired to ignition. So every time I turn the car on, they, the fans come on, which is not the way I want it to be. But it works and it keeps the car running and it keeps AC cool, keeps the car cool. Anyway, that's that. I'm gonna move on to doing other stuff. Thanks, thanks for watching. Um, keep watching, there's gonna be a bunch of videos on the other stuff that I'm doing on this, on this vehicle. See ya.